Peter Finch Biography, Early Life, Career, Major Works, Awards, Personal Life, Trivia. Peter Finch was an English-born Australian actor, who became the first person to win a posthumous Academy Award in an acting category. He won the Academy Award for his brilliant portrayal of anchorman Howard Beale in the film Network. Peter Finch began his acting career with vaudeville performances, theatre acts and radio acting. He also served the Australian Army for four years, during and after which he worked towards establishing himself as a radio actor. However, he soon shifted to Britain, and this marked the beginning of a career in feature films as well. Though initially he worked as per contract with actor Lawrence Oliver, who offered him opportunities to work in theatre, short films and feature films, he later signed a deal with Rank Organisation. And the subsequent performances earned him much international acclaim. He won several awards for his performances. Apart from the Academy Award, he was five times BAFTA Award winner and also won a Golden Globe Award. He died of a heart attack at the age of 60. Peter Finch Childhood Early Life Peter Finch was born on the 28th of September, 1916, at South Kensington in London. His putative father, George Ingle Finch, was a research scientist from Australia, and his mother's name was Alicia Gladys Fisher. His biological father was an Indian Army officer named Wentworth Edward Dallas Jock Campbell, whose illicit relationship with Finch's mother led to George and Alicia's divorce. Peter was two year old at that time. His mother married Wentworth Edward Dallas Jock Campbell in 1922. George Finch won custody of Peter Finch and took him to France too, where Peter was raised by his paternal grandmother Laura Finch. In 1925 he travelled along with Laura Finch to Madras and spent a short while at a Buddhist monastery. At the age of 10, Peter was sent to Australia to live with his great-uncle. There he went to the local school until 1929, after which he attended the North Sydney Intermediate High School for three years. This was the first platform that allowed him to showcase his dramatic skills. Peter Finch career. After graduating from school he began working as a copy boy for the Australian tabloid newspaper. The Sun, and simultaneously began writing. His works included romantic verses and stories in a military setting. He was interested in acting, and in 1933 he performed in a play. Caprice at the Repertory Theatre. At the age of 19, he toured Australia with George Sawley's travelling troupe. He was granted roles in plays by minor semi-professional companies in Sydney and later worked in association with Doris Fitton and as a sideshow spruker for the Sydney Royal Easter Show and in vaudeville with Joe Cody. In 1937, he began work as a radio actor with the Australian Broadcasting Commission and later joined Macquarie Broadcasting Services Party Limited. He was well known for his appealing voice. He played Chris in the children's session and later acted in Jeffrey and Elizabeth Blackburn, along with Never Carr Glynn, among other radio plays. His first film was a short film adaptation of the fairy tale, Cinderella, titled The Magic Shoes, in 1935. His feature film debut came in 1938 with a minor role in the Australian film Dad and Dave Come to Town. The following year, he acted in a supporting role for the film Mr. Chedworth Steps Out. In 1941, he enlisted himself with the Australian Army and served as anti-aircraft gunner during the bombing of Darwin in 1942. Throughout his service with the Army, he was allowed to work in the radio and theatre. In 1944, he acted in The Rats of Tobruk. The following year, he travelled across bases and directed the Terence Radigan plays titled French Without Tears and While the Sun Shines. He was discharged from the duty in 1945 at the rank of sergeant. After his discharge from the army, he worked towards establishing himself as a leading actor in theatre and radio. He was also a producer, writer and compere. In 1946, he founded the Mercury Theatre Company, which produced plays throughout Sydney, as well as ran a theatre school. 
In 1948, his performance of The Imaginary Invalid grabbed the attention of English actors Laurence Olivier and Vivian Lee. Upon their invitation, he left Australia and travelled to Britain the same year. Upon his arrival in Britain, he signed a long-term contract with Laurence Olivier, who was his mentor. His first theatre performance was James Bridie's play Daphne Laureola. His performance in his debut British film, Train of Events, in 1949, earned him much critical acclaim. The following year he appeared in two movies The Miniver Story and The Wooden Horse. In 1951, he portrayed the character of Iago in Othello. The following year he performed at the St. James's Theatre, King Street in London in Samuel Taylor's comedy The Happy Time. His theatre performances declined sharply in the 1950s, and he became actively involved in films. In the 1954 mystery comedy film Father Brown, he played the role of the villain. The same year he acted in the Hollywood movie Elephant Walk. In late 1954 his contract with Laurence Olivier came to an end and he subsequently signed a deal with the British entertainment conglomerate. Rank Organization He acted in several minor roles in movies during the first two years like The Queen in Australia 1954, Make Me an Offer 1954, Passage Home 1955, Josephine and Men 1955, and Simon and Laura 1955. His popularity rose in 1956 with the success of his movies, The Battle of the River Plate, and A Town Like Alice. The following year, he acted in the Australian films Robbery Under Arms and The Shirley. He preferred to be based in London, however, with the success of his film The Nun Story in 1959, he earned much international recognition. Other notable feature films he was part of include The Trials of Oscar Wilde 1960, No Love for Johnny 1961, The Pumpkin Eater 1964, Far From the Madding Crowd 1964, Sunday Bloody Sunday 1971, Network 1976 and television film Raid on Entebbe 1977. Peter Finch Major Works Peter Finch is best known for his portrayal of television anchorman Howard Beale, who develops messianic pretensions in the movie Network. His performance in the movie won him an Academy Award for Best Actor, which he received posthumously. Awards and Achievements He was the recipient of the Macquarie Awards for the Best Radio Actor in the years 1946 and 1947. He won the BAFTA Award for Best British Actor in 1956 for his performance in the film A Town Like Alice. In 1961, he was awarded the BAFTA Award for Best British Actor for his role in the film The Trials of Oscar Wilde. The following year he received the BAFTA Award for Best British Actor for the movie No Love for Johnny. The BAFTA Award for Best Actor in a Leading Role was awarded to him for his performance in Sunday Bloody Sunday in 1971. His performance in the movie Network earned him the Academy Award for Best Actor. BAFTA Award for Best Actor in a Leading Role and Golden Globe Award for Best Actor Motion Picture Drama in 1976. He received his Oscar Award posthumously. Peter Finch Personal Life Legacy in 1943, Peter Finch married ballerina Tamara Chinarova. The couple worked in several films. They had a daughter named Anita in 1950. They separated ways and divorced in 1959 following his affair with actress Vivian Lee. In 1959, he married actress Yolanda Turner, and the couple had two children Samantha and Charles Peter. During this period, he had an extramarital affair with singer Shirley Bassey. Peter Finch and Yolanda Turner divorced in 1965. In 1972, he married Mavis Aletha Barrett, and they had a daughter named Diana. He died on 14 January, 1977, after suffering a heart attack at the Beverly Hills Hotel. He was 60 years old at the time of his death. Australian author and journalist George Johnston wrote a series of biography articles on Peter Finch after detailed research about his life and work. The articles were published in Sun Herald.
In 1980, author, Elaine Dundee, released a biography on Peter Finch titled Finch, Bloody Finch, a biography of Peter Finch. The same year his wife also published her account of their life together titled Finchy, My Life with Peter Finch. Peter Finch Trivia He was the first actor to be awarded the Academy Award for Best Actor posthumously. He was the inspiration behind the character of Archie Calverton in George Johnston's novel Clean Straw for Nothing. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.